Today we are using Thompson's water seal to seal in the entire new stockade fence that I installed recently. So if you want to see that, tune into the channel. I'm going to film some of it. Good stuff. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the monkey with the wrench. Well, today it's not a wrench. It's a paintbrush. Or, well, sometimes. Mostly it's going to be a sprayer. Just like that, regular old garden sprayer. That one's specifically for decks and more. And we're using Thompson's water seal to seal in the stockade fence that I put up a few weeks ago. Uh, now that it's completely dried out, we want to get some sealing on it to give it some longer life. I don't know if you can tell, but from where the sprayer is over to the right, that's got a first coat on to the edge of the van. And from there over is still untreated and of course we got the other side and if you missed it we got the new pool installed waters up to 84 degrees I think boy it's been nice jumping in this thing in the evening time uh, went together pretty well four inches of sand underneath new pool set up there's the new cargo trailer the videos have not been put out yet uh, but I did do a little bit of filming while I was building that from a cargo trailer into my new home so wait till you see the inside of that it's pretty amazing it's not quite finished yet but it will be done soon so in order to put this stuff on it's pretty easy just remember you're not doing a deck below your feet usually when you do a deck gravity will pull it down and it'll sort of level itself out when you're doing a fence like this anything like you're doing spray painting you don't want to put on too much at one time you want to put on just enough for the wood to soak it in if you put on too much it'll globulate and it'll start running down and you'll get those runs like in paint and then it'll kind of dry there so if that happens just grab a paintbrush and lightly go over top of it just to spread out any extra globules until you figure out how much to put on at one shot it's going to take two coats at least don't try and rush it just let the sprayer do its work and i'm going to show you how easy that is right now I'm also going to be cutting grass this year I have a lawn that I'll be cutting tomorrow that's very well overgrown probably close to waist high so I'll be filming that if you like to see yard cleanups and it's gonna go from highly overgrown to nice and tidy so you just pump up your sprayer just give it a nice amount of spray it's not hard to do it doesn't take long and remember this is just the first coat so you want to put enough on that the wood can soak it in but not so much that it builds up and starts running and you'll be able to tell that while you're applying it when it starts building up. Now this particular sprayer came with a bunch of different tips and I found that the original self-contained one is the best one for doing on my fence. Now you really can't put too much of this on. You let the wood soak in the first coat and when you see it start to build up on the outside that's when you move on to the next spot. So now I'm just going to film doing this in faster motion.
Now when it comes down to hardware or anything like that, if you're doing that for a customer, then I would go ahead and wipe that back off. But in this case, that's an aluminum frame and we've got some old rusty hinges here. I'm not even going to bother wiping it off. This is basically an oil-based shellac, kind of like varnishing wood. It's not going to hurt that at all. It'll eventually wear off and it will soak into the wood and protect it for the next three to five years. You're supposed to check it every two to three years and as long as water still beads off of it, then you're good to go. But that's all this does. This is how simple it is to put it on, to install it, whatever you want to call it. And I just thought you might want to know that. Now as the first coat dries and you go back to do the second coat, you'll notice the second coat leaves little droplets, sort of like rain. That means the first coat's been sucked into the wood and the second coat is just covering whatever got missed. So just do a nice light mist, almost like you're spray painting it with dots of, of snow from a can. And if you do that, you're good to go. That's going to be the end of it here. I'll just show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Don't forget. Don't be afraid to do anything you need to do. I wouldn't go out and start a business sealing in fences. But I put every piece of this fence up and I'm sealing it in. I can do the job on my own property. And uh, you can too. So thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button. It's somewhere between my chin and my balls. We have been averaging 25 to 30 new subscribers every single day. And I want to say thank you to you. Subscribe, send these videos to a friend, tell your neighbors, email them to strangers. Let's get the word out. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers already. It's been crazy. This week alone, we've gotten over 150 subscribers in the last few days. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you soon.